This is a, this is a very traditional layout for a, 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 a complete PBX system in your infrastructure, where you have phones inside of your LAN, you have your ASIC server inside your LAN, you've got T1 uh, or POTS lines going from your outside phone provider, and you also have a SIP trunking coming through your router into your switch and into your ASIC system. So your phone always communicates directly with the ASIC system. Um, it, never, it never goes direct to the, to the um, uh, other SIP client. And you can also have SIP clients outside the cloud that actually come through your firewall into the ASIC server. Right, but both IX2 and SIP will always go through the, the router. I think that's one of our positive things. Some people say, well, it costs double the payload because you can go direct to the SIP thing and not go through asterisk all the time. In our case, we always have two legs. The value of that, of course, is that we always have control of the call and we can do recordings all the time on the fly. So, without sniffing. Let's talk about the link layer a little bit. This is all about the wiring inside the building and everything else. Um, it's, you know, the layer includes both LAN and WAN technologies. Most of the time we talk about LAN, but likewise, you need to worry about the WAN technology too. Rule one, never use a, um, a fiber, I mean, I'm sorry, a uh, microwave uh, Ethernet connection for SIP trunking. Um, they say it's wonderful, they'll give you QoS, and the fact is, is that I've never seen one yet that doesn't have so much jitter latency that you have very, very bad call quality depending on certain times of the day and things like that. And so, you know, they'll tell you wonderful things, but just stay away from it. Um, never seen one work. I've, I've spent a lot of time on, you know, things that blame the phone system because, of course, it's a SIP packet and you get crappy call quality as so I the switch. Likewise, you know, watch out for, you know, a, a um, the type of wiring that's inside your, inside your infrastructure. Um, exceptionally long. We all have broken all the rules of 330 feet, I think it is, something like that. Um, we, I mean, I, I ran stuff to 600 feet because I'm too lazy to put something in between and get a switch all that kind of stuff, or put fiber to another switch and pick two. The phones, phones get cranky. SIP phones get cranky when you start pushing them over three, 400 feet on an Ethernet cable because it's causing latency and jitter. And so if you push it farther and farther out outside the spec, you can have issues with your SIP phones. So just make sure that your backbone is right. Now, we've got a lot of end users here, so you guys know your backbones really well. The reason I bring this up is because of resellers. This is where you, you go in, you have a good deal going in, and you die on the install that you quoted should be one day in, one day out, and you're there for three days trying to figure out why your audio sounds like garbage. And it's all about their cabling inside the building and looking at the jitter and looking at the latency. So, um, in this layer, we, work, we worry about the MAC ID, uh, we worry about the, the, you know, the infrastructure type of material. But on the MAC ID, uh, at this level, when we're programming phones inside the system, when we're trying to locate things uh, using the, the system, we're doing things that are called ARP. And basically what that's doing is going out and doing a search and trying to yell for everybody's MAC ID. And for the MAC ID, we, we determine things. The way our endpoint manager actually works is that we go out and yell for, we do an ARP and yell, yell for MAC IDs. Okay? So, you know, the reason we, we talk about this is because you can't do an ARP outside of your routed subnet. At least I don't know how to do it. Um, in fact, I don't even think it'll work over a VLAN um, when you throw out an ARP request. I'm not positive about that. But I know that typically your, your, um, your ARP command only works inside your routed subnet. And so if you've got a great big uh, super <coughs> class B, yeah, when you, when you go out, you can scan, you know, 65,000 addresses and you can find every phone, you know, you got to hang on your whole organization. But if you've got some phones that aren't in a 10.0 network and you're in a 192 network, and you have a static route, we'll, we'll talk about these things in a little bit if you don't understand them. But they're actually physically in two different subnets. When you go out to an ARP command, our program is only going to find the local phones. And that's not a bad thing. The thing that you have to do in a large organization is that when you go to program your phones, you don't walk out to the person's desk right away. 
you take the phone and you put it on your desk and you program it on the same subnet as your phone submit, because then you can use our automatic provisioning tools to create all the fig files and everything. The phone, if you have told it once where the provisioning server is, it's going to remember that. It'll get outside the subnet, and it's now going to throw out a command for option 66, a oh, word of my server. If in that area, in that area you have a DHCP server that is configured properly for us, then that option 66, even though it's remote from the from the PBX, it's going to have the IP address of the uh, server in it. And with that, it'll be because you have a static ground place, it'll, it'll talk just fine, it'll pick up its config files. But the secret was you actually re originally configured that phone on your desk. Now, the reason I'm talking about these kind of things is that the provisioning of your phones, the getting your network right, is where you're going to have your, your stumbling areas on, on, on provisioning up your system. Once you get provisioned up right, get your network set right for an IP PBX, it's going to be rock solid, throw a phone in, bang, it's easy to work with. So, 